I rise today to present Assembly Concurrent Resolution 157, which commends South Korea for hosting the 23rd Olympic Winter Games and the 12th Paralympic Winter Games. The purpose of the Olympics and Paralympic Games is to promote peace and unity in the international community through sports. Many of us remember sitting by our TVs every four years as we were able to see not only the Winter Games and the Summer Games. Many of us followed these athlete stories from country to country, knowing the hard work that they had invested to gain a seat at, on their Olympic team. These athletes came with dreams. They came with hope to make sure that their progress would be noted and they would be rewarded with a medal for their country. This same theme is true of America, the land of opportunity. In my district, La Palma, which is only one mile long, we have an Olympic athlete headed to the Olympic Winter Games. This young athlete, a female, is going to the Olympics to compete on the ski team with snowboarding. Her name is Chloe Kim. She is an ambassador, a 17-year-old from La Palma, and she is expected to medal in the games. This story of her rise in snowboarding came with her father, John Jin Kim, who years ago wanted to try snowboarding. When his wife refused to join him, he instead brought Chloe, who at that time was four years old, to the Mountain High Resort in San Bernardino. She was fearless, even at four years old. As his daughter's skills continued to blossom, John decided to quit his job as an engineer. He went home and told his wife, I'm done working, I'm going to make my daughter an Olympian. John would drag himself out of bed in the early morning, bundling his daughter into the car and let her sleep as he drove hours north to Mammoth Lakes. Theirs is the story of love, dedication, perseverance, and I am sure that there are many more stories just like that with our Olympians that will compete starting this weekend.